Hello, hello, friends, and welcome to the stream. Hello, welcome. Oh, got a few people. Hello, white gamers. Hello, Victor. Hello, Anarath. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Oof. Oh, I tell you what, I'm tired today. It's been a long day. Went into work today. I wasn't supposed to work. It's supposed to be my day off, but co worker's sick, so I had to work. Just getting back. And we're playing Slide 2, Band of Thieves. Uh, what do we got here? Press start for a new game. We are going to do that. Let me know if the audio needs to be adjusted. Do you read me, Sitting Duck? This is Peking Duck. I hear you, Blizzard. No, Slide. I'm the wizard, <coughs> and you're Sitting Duck. I read you loud and clear, Lizard. No, I, I'm... Forget it. You're not taking this seriously. Yeah, I'm not. Look, Bentley, I know this is your first time out in the field, but you've got to loosen up. If we're going to get to those clockwork parts, I need you on your toes. So in plain talk, what's your status? Well, I've established myself in the basement, and I'm pretty sure I can rewire the service elevator if you can power it up from that security station. Hang tough, pal. It might take some time, but I'll figure out a way to get up there. Oh, man. Slide two. Sly 2 is so good. Of course, it's introducing all the different characters you can play. Also, I should probably change my controller, but if I end up jumping weird, uh, my analog stick is a little buggered up. So if I end up like jumping weird or something, please forgive me. I am probably fighting against it. It's not. <coughs> excuse me. It shouldn't be a big deal, but like, it does happen. Ooh, it's very dark over here. It's very dark over here. I can just make out some things to whack. Some things to whack a whack. But slide two, yeah, like it, it introduces like the a sort of more open world aspect. It, uh, of course, uh, will introduce multiple characters to play. That is being Murray and Bentley, and I, it's just an old favorite of mine. Of course, we've played Sly Cooper and Thievius Raccoonus. We played the first one a while back. Now oh, we broke the bones. Rook some bones. We played it quite a while back now, so I feel like, I feel like not too bad. Actually, I wonder can I actually up the brightness a little bit? Is that a thing I can do? Binocucom, USB effects finally. I don't think so. It feels a little dark. Maybe that's just my monitor. Hopefully, you guys can see okay. What's it look like to you guys? It's a, it's not the worst thing in the world, I guess. I have the brightness adjusted a little bit. Oof. Wrath <laughs> is asking if Mo is actually alive. I should also probably warn you guys. I will probably cough every now and again, maybe sniffle every now and again because I am still getting over a cold. I guess apparently, apparently I'm still getting over it. Gosh, it's so friggin' dark. Where am I going? I gotta go up here, I think. What exactly am I looking for? Ooh, can I actually get up here? No? I apparently was not paying close enough attention to what I was supposed to be doing <laughs> because I'm an idiot. Roblox Girl 2006, hello! Hello, welcome to the stream. I'm so glad you could make it. Where the heck am I supposed to be going? Ah, so what, what, what is my Binocucom button? Oh, that's my gadget grid. Oh, yeah, I forgot about ga gadget grid. That's pausing. Ah, oh, there we go. That's my Panaki Com. <clears throat> Cairo Museum Break. Power up the elevator. Oh, we got to power up the elevator. Got it, got it, got it. God darn it. There we go. How do we power up the elevator? <laughs> I'm, I might be slightly out of it today. I don't know. I might be just a little out of it. Like I said, it's been a, it's been a really long week and everything. Um. God dang it. Am I just stupid? Like... Is it this thing? Oh, here we go. Yeah? Here we go. Did I not try jumping on this? Okay, I'm just I'm just a big dummy. Okay, well, here we are. I'm like, this is not supposed to be difficult. Ah, ah. There, there, there we go. There we go. I'm a big dum dum. It's just a big bouncy thing in the middle of the friggin' room. Of course it is. I think I need to up, um, increase the brightness on my monitor. 
My monitor is very dark, very hard to see. Okay, okay. Let me at that security computer. Do, 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 do. The spotlights are offline. Mm. There it's goes better. The security system. I'm working on the security gate. I think Bentley's talking to me, but I'm kind of adjusting my monitor at the moment. Uh oh, what's going on? Oh, Bentley's explode, like, blowing stuff up. I wasn't, I wasn't ready, Bentley. I wasn't ready. What are we doing? Presto, all clear. Thanks, pal. For your first time out, you did pretty well. Oh, this operation is far from complete. Now that the lasers and spotlights are offline, Murray should be moving into position for your rendezvous. I'll stay here and provide computer support while you go on ahead. Yeah, you guys want me to try to increase the brightness a little bit for you guys? I was just increasing it on my own monitor. But I can try to increase it a little bit here as well. I know it's it seems like it's super dark. Boop, boop, boop. All right, the game's probably gonna flash on and off here for a sec while I just try to adjust the brightness. So don't mind that. It's probably gonna do weird stuff while I do that. Boop, 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 boop. <coughs> I'm going to move this. I'm going to move this. God darn, why is, get out of here. Notify me about an update that I don't care about. I'm in the middle of something, thank you very much. Uh, oh, that's a that's that, that's brighter. Uh, how bright do we want it though? How's how about that? Is that better? You think? How's that? We'll start with that. If you guys think it needs to be a bit brighter, we can make it a bit brighter. But yeah, I feel like it was pretty dark, so hopefully that that sh that should do right. Oh heck yes. Oh, it even looks better for me. Oh god, now I can see. I can see the world! I was... Look, there's even this thing here I can probably break. Oh, no coins? Fine, be that way, game. No coins it is. Roblox, you need to play Gravity Falls Inca games? It's fairly easy. Roblox, girl, I have played it! The first three episodes are already out on my YouTube channel. Uh, episode four was supposed to come out today, but I got really busy today, and I didn't get the chance to uh, release it. I'll release it tomorrow in the fifth episode on Saturday. It took me a long time to beat. It took me a long time to beat, but you can watch the first three videos on my YouTube channel. So I have played it. I beat you to it. Oh, Bentley. Oh, Bentley. You're my favorite. I'm, I'm just I'm just going for coins right now. I like coins. I like, look, enjoy this mugshot. A little, little mugshot and mugshot over here. <laughs> I remember this one from, this was one of the portraits in Raleigh's world, obviously, because he's like a toad or whatever. Now that I look at this one, this actually looks like that's like, that's probably Dimitri. We haven't met Dimitri yet, but that's kind of what that looks like. I wonder if there's actually a lot of foreshadowing, like, portraits and stuff in this early level. I, I've not really paid that much attention to him before. There's a coin up here. Uh, well, I can't get up there. <laughs> I'm giving up. You know what they say, if you jump, jump, and you can't get the coin, just give up. <laughs> I'm just ransacking this place. According to my information, the 
clockwork parts are being stored up there. Now to get access, you're gonna have to meet up with Murray at the rendezvous point. Unfortunately, the route through the garden is filled with guards. No problem. I'll just take the long way around. If memory serves, you need to jump and hit the circle button to run along ropes. All right, yes, of course, the circle, circle running of the ropes. We have mastered the rope running art, the art of the rope run. How great would it be to actually jump down there and, like, it just turns into an, a massive Grand Theft Auto game? <laughs> With all the cars down there. Hotel. Do, 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 do. It's a very big museum. It like spans several blocks. There he is. There he is. I kept it a safe distance. <laughs> good, good. The Thunderflop knows the thunder flop. Full, only destruction. Yeah, could you maybe channel some of that raw energy into the security gate? Of course. It is nothing before the Murray. Relax, girl, your sister is yelling across the room. He notice us, Senpai, notice us? Who's Senpai? Who's the Senpai? It can't be me. All right, thank you, Murray. I know you're holding up that gate, Murray, but I'm just gonna go ahead and break all the things while, like, what, what, I, I, I made it through, Murray. You, you don't have to, <laughs> you don't have to keep holding it anymore. You don't, you don't have to, you don't have to keep it up. There he is. I'll bend it like the truth. Me? You're crazy. You're crazy, Roblox girl. <laughs> Solid work, Murray. Oh. You're really in the zone. My hulking frame is too much for that puny rope. You go ahead and unlock the doors from the inside. I'll be waiting in the hallway to help you carry out the clockwork part. But I'm flattered. I am flattered. I should say so. I am flattered to be your senpai. Which sounds super weird. That sounds super weird out loud. I am glad to be your senpai. It is my ultimate pleasure to do the senpaiing. That, that's that's the verb form of senpai, right? Senpaiing. <laughs> he senpai. She senpai. We senpai. Oh, it's a trap! Freeze, Cooper. Inspector Fox. As beautiful and unpredictable as ever. Jessica, hello, welcome to the stream. I'm so glad you could make it. Predictable. You always return to the scene of the crime. Crime? I haven't stolen anything. Yet. Oh really? Then who broke in last night and made off with all the clockwork parts? You've got the motive. Someone already stole the parts? Don't play dumb with me. It might not have been him, Carmelita. The method of entry and guard casualties all point to this being a claw gang job. The claw gang? Constable Neela, I allowed you to sit in on this stakeout as a favor to the Contessa. I really don't need any help. Oh, I think you might. Look at the facts. The facts. <laughs> Is this really the time for this, ladies? I caught him red-handed. I'm just saying that there are other criminals in the world other than... Sly Cooper! After I'm gonna make my make my escape while they argue and bicker with one another. Ooh, pots. I know I need to make my escape, but like pots. There are pots to be broken. Oh, paintings. There's money to be had. Her aim is definitely scarier in this game. Oh god. Oh. Oh, Murray. Murray, don't jump in my Wii. Don't do it. Okay, we don't really need all the coins. We we really don't. We'll be we'll be rich enough in all due time. Oh, Bentley! Bentley, pick up the coins. Yeah, well, Thank you. Thank you, Bentley. Get 
Can't run forever. I, I, I might. I might be able to do just that. It is quite possible. Likely. Likely even. Uh oh. I keep trying to run down the middle of the hallway and there's like stuff in the middle. I don't even know why I bother. You're all going to jail. Pick me up at the rendezvous. <laughs> you guys take the door and meet me at the rendezvous point. I'm gonna bust through this window like like someone who's super cool. I'm just gonna like James board my way through the window. Okay, Carmelita, was that necessary? <laughs> Are all these cars down here necessary? <laughs> That was a horrible blockade. Oh, they're after him. Oh, god darn it. I was trying to break that, darn you. Of course, we have a health bar in Sly 2, as opposed to the actual um, Lucky Charms or whatever, the horseshoes. So instead of those, we have an actual health bar, which kind of makes things easier, because it's, it's, it's easier to like make a mistake and then recover from it. As opposed to like having only like being only a one-hit wonder. Oh, that's sad. That being said, like, the enemies that we encounter will also take multiple hits. I think from at least most of them, or at least some of them. I'll find you, Cooper. 17 days away, Jessica. It's coming up. Two weeks. I saw um, Lion King, the the Carmelita PlayStation One games, like ever. not too she's expensive. Really I think I found on eBay for like twelve dollars. I might be buying it soon. Was Roblox girl, I know you play Roblox. Do you know the game Bloxburg? No, I have never heard of Bloxburg. Our only lead on the missing clockwork parts. Clockwork. He was consumed with jealousy for the Cooper clan's thieving reputation. Is it inappropriate to refer to him as a monster? No, not at all. What kind of person stays alive for hundreds of years with the express intention of wiping out a rival's family line? Imagine the hatred fueling that first decision to replace his mortal body with soulless machinery. Ultimately, it did the trick. Clockwork lived on. He caught up with my parents, and I wound up in an orphanage. It's there that I met my pals, Bentley, the brains of our outfit, and Murray, the brawn. They turned out to be all the family I needed. Two years ago, I thought I'd finished it. How naive to think I could so easily put an end to that kind of hatred. And now he's back. In pieces, sure, but the threat is real. Does the Claw Gang even realize what they've stolen? I don't know what's in my future, but I won't let it be a repeat of my past. I went ahead and wrote that down, Roblox Girl. I wrote down Bloxburg on Roblox. Uh, I, I made a little note of it. I can check it out. Maybe I'll do a, an episode or a video on it on YouTube or something soon. Uh, Autosave. Yes, do the saving. Save of the doing. Chapter 1, watch a movie. Chapter 1, episode 1. Let's do the episode 1 with Dimitri. The Black Chateau. The Black Chateau. I had to call in a few favors to get the goods in the Claw Gang's local operator. Dimitri, a sort of underworld celebrity, equally at home in high-class art circles and shady back-alley crimes. He was once a passionate young art student who worked hard to develop his own visionary style. Unfortunately, the art world wasn't quite ready for his kinetic aesthetic. So he gave them what they wanted, and started forging old masterpieces. His way of punishing those with bad taste. Dimitri now runs a nightclub on the west side. The thumpy music, colorful light shows, and a hint of danger lure in chic young patrons from far and wide. And it's here, hidden somewhere, where we'll find the clockwork tail feathers. 
What Dimitri plans to do with the clockwork part is beyond me. But those plans end tonight. The Black Chateau! <laughs> yeah, we'll have to find out Roblox uh, if it costs any Robux or whatever. And Jessica, yes, I have seen little blitz and blurbs about the Lion King live action movie. Is it coming out in 2019? I wasn't sure when it was supposed to be coming out. I knew it was a ways away still. All right, and now we can, oh, we can't quite choose who to play as yet. I think we unlock them as we go. So now we also have like thief net where we can buy different things that we can do. I only have 147 coins, so we can't actually buy anything, but like smoke bomb, we definitely want smoke bomb <laughs> eventually. Uh, we'll start as slime. Start the first mission. I think we have to do a reconnaissance mission and get a lay of the land. I tell you, Bentley, it's going to be a Real pleasure robbing this nightclub. Sayuka Heb69, I did I say that right? Hello, welcome to the stream over there on Twitch. Uh, you have like fake chat? No, it's not a fake chat. It's the YouTube chat. I have YouTube chat and Twitch chat. So it's not fake chat. It's not fake subs, and it's not fake donations. None of it's fake. I promise you. But welcome to the stream anyway. I'm on my way. Because I stream... It, it, I know not everybody does. I stream to multiple things at once. I stream to YouTube, Twitch, Mixer, and Periscope all at the same time. Because I can. Sly, if you click the L3 button, you know, press the left analog stick, I'll beam some virtual markers into your feedback. They'll help you find your way around. If no markers are in view, use the right analog stick to move the camera and look around for them. Remember, the view is always better from the rooftops. Thank you, Bentley. Thank you for that excellent advice. That excellent, much-needed advice. Actually, let me let me take a look around. Well, what the heck am I supposed to be doing? Satellite sabotage is over there. And I think that's the only thing actually available to us. I know hidden throughout... Ah, oh, there's one. I thought I saw it over here. <laughs> I'm like, I, I forget where it is. Hidden throughout the entire map are, of course, the clue bottles from the original game. And I think there's a safe somewhere on the map. Somewhere. I don't know if we're going to go for getting all of these or not. It's kind of up to you guys and whether or not you're patient enough with me if you want to see me try to get all of these. If, if I see them, I'll grab them for sure. But I know like once there's like only like one or two left, sometimes it's a little bit... That's a little bit mundane looking for it, so it's kind of up to you guys if you want me to even bother. If you want me to, then absolutely I can do that. It's something I, I've done before, but I, it's not like I memorized where they're all at or anything like that. That'd be ridiculous. Roblox, and I will have to ask my brother if he was willing to find Blackbird. I'm sure it's uh, if you just like search it in the like search bar or whatever, I'm sure it comes up. <laughs> Jessica, yeah, I, I heard there were a lot of big names in the Lion King movie. A lot of big names. Sayuka, oh right, you're uh, on YouTube. Yes! Yes, no worries, I am not... <laughs> can you imagine, though, can you imagine, like, the trouble you'd have to go through if you wanted to create a fake... like, a fake chat to make yourself look like you were more popular, I guess? Could you imagine, like, the effort you'd have to go through? That's too much effort for me. That is way too much effort for me. I am... <laughs> uh, today, especially today, I'm feeling pretty low energy just because it's been a very long day. I had a lot of work to get done today. On top of actually working, I had a lot of school work to do. Uh, I busy, busy day. Put way too much stuff off to the last minute. God darn it. I was hoping he would cling onto the edge there. We can get up there somehow. Also, I know I could just do the mission, but one of the things I, I just always do is uh, walk around and grab a lot of these easier to find clues right away. Hopefully that's not too incredibly boring. I just, <laughs> this is just what I've always done playing this. 
Um, I guess I, I don't know if I said it or not. I don't think I did, but like I have played this before. This is not my first for, foray into Sly Cooper 2. So this is what I, I've always done, is literally go through and try to find all the clues before I even do the first mission. That's just what I've always done. I know that's completely unnecessary, but, you know. <laughs> right here with Shore Mo. Anorath, your fedora is the best part of the stream. Well, thank you. My, my fedora thanks you. Logan, and your comments are the worst, lol, just kidding. I try. Jessica, when you're working on your roar, your voice cracks. It's not good. That's not good. You can't let your voice crack. It has to be strong and powerful and mighty. <laughs> there we go. Roblox, you're watching this at 4 in the morning? Oh my god, that's early. But I don't really care. I sleep so I could be ready for this. That is very early in the morning. It is... What I've noticed as I've gotten older, so I, I'm the, I, I am a night owl, but what I've noticed is the older I get, the much, like, much harder it is on my, like, body to continue to do that. It's get, it's getting a lot harder to, uh, pull off four o'clock. I thought that was a pipe I could cling to, but I guess not. Four o'clock is so much harder for me to pull off these days, which is weird because I never thought I would say that. I, I never thought I would be like, Ugh. Four o'clock, that's way too late. Mm -hmm. I'm an old man now. Nowadays, if I'm up to like two in the morning, I'm like, oh, what am I doing with my life? It's too much. I mean, I stream these until one in the morning. For me, one o'clock in the morning, my time. And I'm like, oh, so late. I blame, I blame the years of, uh, caffeine intake not now that I've like had so much caffeine like now it just does nothing for me so that it's like much harder to stay awake because back in the day like back in the day like when I was a child back when I was a wee child in the in like you know you you down a mountain dew and that was a good to keep that that was enough to like keep you up all night or whatever and that is certainly no longer the case What's going on? Yeah, Anorath, just don't don't start overdoing it with the death talk again. All right, <laughs> don't. I mean, I know Mufasa. Like, that's you know, don't 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 instigate. That's that's what I'm gonna say. Let's not instigate the death talk. All right. Of course, I, I mean like. Mufasa does die in the movie. I know that. That that's for sure a thing. Spoilers, I guess, for anyone who's not seen Lion King, the classic Disney film. But um, although, if you wanted to say like cin uh, like in terms of cinematography, if you want to talk about the cinematography behind his death and how the movie handles it, that's um, there's something there's something definitely to be said about how well the movie portrays that. It's really this guy heard me. <laughs> <laughs> you heard me. You heard me. What you gonna do about it, you weasel? What you gonna do? Nothing. Um, I should probably, like, run. Is there anyone around? Nope. No one's around. Okay. But the movie makes it a very powerful moment. It, it really does make it a powerful moment, is what I'm trying to say. Interestingly, too, if you run into those clue bottles, because they, like, crash or whatever when you pick them up that is actually enough noise to alert nearby guards so if you pick up a clue next to a guard they will hear that which i always thought was really cool it was a nice touch
Oh. There's another clue over there. Oops. There we go. Oof. Where's my... Oh. I just realized I didn't have my earbuds in. And that I should probably have my earbuds in. There we go. It helps me keep, keep track of what's going on on my computer. There we go. That helps. So we've got 18 clues already, so 12 more to go. Just looking at that guy. Do I see any more? We could go ahead and start the first mission. I know I've been wandering around just kind of doing nothing. We do have 209 coins now. We're getting closer to 300. I, we could do some pickpocketing too, actually. I, I'm pretty sure. Do I need to learn that first? Maybe I need to learn that first. I don't remember if it's something I buy on ThiefNet or if I can do that immediately. We'll find out. Next time I'm close to like behind a security guard, we'll try to pickpocket and see what happens. I think I've kind of circled around the outer edge of the entire map. Yeah, because this is where we began. So I think most of the other clues are like on the ground or toward the center of the map. So we'll go ahead and do the first uh, mission real quick before I look for more clues. Which is right over here. Slime, I need you to hack into Dimitri's communication array so that we'll have access to his database. How am I supposed to do that? To start, you'll need to get to the top of that tower. Then reposition the satellite dish to point at my safe house antenna. And if you want to climb on stuff, jump and hit the circle button to grab hold. Try climbing up that pipe. Right. Jump and press the circle button to climb pipes. I'm on it. <clears throat> Doing a jungle cross stitch? I don't know how to cross stitch. I wish I knew how to do more crafty things. Which, it's, I, I say I wish, but like I just haven't put in like the time to learn stuff. But I'm, I'm not a really, I'm not really a crafty person. Oh god darn it. He's noticed me. He's noticed me. Make my escape. He'll never find me. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> They're gonna throw rocks at me. No. No. It's okay. It's okay. We'll get away from them. They're not, they're not very bright. They're, they're not very smart. And you have robot, robots, you have robot, 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 robot chicken playing on your left. I've not watched any robot chicken in a very long time. They st do they still make, like, new robot chickens, or is that, or are they done now? I don't, I, I actually legitimately don't know. I've not watched, I've not watched TV in a long time, just in general. I just, I just don't. I don't watch, I don't. I don't watch the TV. No. I hear. I think I hear a clue. Or maybe that's just the music. Ah. Go away. I'm not fighting. Ah, there's a clue. Oh. Y'all wanna go? Y'all wanna go? Is that how you wanna is this how is this how you wanna do it? It's okay, we're just gonna go over here. I don't know why I thought I, would, I could make that jump. I don't know. I want to get that clue. I don't know why I thought I could make that jump, but for some reason I'm like, I can make it. What I did was I, I jumped up. Oh, I didn't even see this one. I jumped up and hit R1, which is the sprint button. If you jump and hit the sprint button later in the game, when you unlock the um, paraglider, then you can paraglide. So like my instinct was to paraglide, but I don't have it unlocked, obviously. Don't worry, I'm an expert fighter. There, we're back to sneaky sneak. I'm gonna make that jump. I'm gonna make that jump. I think my uh, jumping was getting a little screwed up because Sly was in like combat mode. All right, here we can. 
I think I can make this. Actually, I can probably just do this. This would be the easier thing to do, silly mo. I think I have to crash this later. I actually have to climb this later and it like crashes down onto the fountain, but we'll worry about that another time. Any more clues in my immediate vicinity? I know we're like doing the satellites right now. We've got two more satellites to do. Where's the next one at? It's like over, over, where's the other satellite? There it is. Of course, no fall damage because of course not. Yeah, we can do the pickpocketing. And we can do a stealth attack. They don't make more robot chicken anymore. Why you can hold down the R1 button while walking to break into a fast run, but be careful, as this is sure to be loud enough to alert any guards in the vicinity. Okay. Next. <coughs> Yeah, it might have been a case, a case of stage fright, Jessica, with your friend freezing up like that. I'm not entirely sure. Or maybe she was just, uh... Or <laughs> maybe she was just, uh, rebooting. <laughs> Is your friend a secret cyborg? An android? From the future? Here to destroy us all, Dragon Ball Z style? Job completed! We did it! We did we turned all the satellites on! Nice work, Sly. I'm downloading from Dimitri's mainframe as we speak. All in a night's work. So, where do we go from here? Your next job is to break into the nightclub and take some reconnaissance photos of the clockwork tail feathers. To get inside, you'll have to sneak through an old wine cellar beneath town. Okay. Sneak through a wine cellar, you say? I'm totally down for sneaking through wine cellars. I am totally down for that. Woo. I'm just having a, having a little bit of a look around to see whether or not there's a clue. Just, you know, loitering around. We only need, like, what, nine more or something? We've got most of them. They definitely get harder to find once there's only a couple left, since it's an open-ish world. And none of the clues will actually be in any of the levels. I think they're all in the overworld. I think I'm not lying. Good to see you, little buddy. I guess the way through the wine cellar is guarded by those rats. Hey, little buddy. Bentley thought you might like some help clearing them out. Sounds like fun. You and me, back to back. Totally. Outnumbered. Fighting impossible odds. It's perfect. All right, pal. Let's get to it. Right, gamers, a demo of the first digitized mammal brain installed in a Lego robot? That actually happened? I have not heard about this. That sounds like insanity. I know that, like, obviously there's loads of people that want to be able to digitize human brains. That's sort of like the neo-human immortality sort of, um, thi oh, get out of here, you. I want, I want the coins. I want to get the coins. Get out of get, get out of here. Ah, he kicked me. He kicked me while he was trying to stand up. Yeah. There we go. Hold on, Sly. Let me lower those bars for Like, what did they... Like... There you go. They digitized the... Like... You have to double jump. 
It's not a thing they have that happened, it did it? A demo? Where was the demo, like, at? Is, is this something you can see online? Looks like you're on your own from here. Eh, I'm used to it. Roblox girl, your parents would kill you if you were watching this? What, watching me playing Sly Cooper or watching Robot Chicken? Because I feel like... <laughs> I feel like... <laughs> I feel like yeah, I'm the... I'm the better option, right? <laughs> I'm better than Robot Chicken. I'm significantly more entertaining. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, I know um, when I was much younger, my parents had an issue with certain shows. The one that uh, my mom hated me see watching was, because uh, my mom cared more than my dad did, was uh, Family Guy. God, she hated that show. I didn't. I was too young to even understand most of the humor when I first discovered it, like at all. So it's not like it was even doing anything to me. But she was worried, worried to tears that I was gonna pick up bad habits from the show or something. Which was always funny because there were other shows that were okay for us to watch, like The Simpsons or something. Which I do think, you know, it's a bit of a different humor, but like it's obviously not a kid's show, it's an, it's an adult cartoon. So I, that's always funny. So The Simpsons and Futurama was always okay. Family Guy and Robot Chicken was off limits. And of course Robot Chicken was weird, but Family Guy, early Family Guy, like seasons like one, season one of Family Guy for example, was way more appropriate than the like the newer seasons for example. It's gotta be said. Some of the newer Family Guys, I just, I don't even, which I say newer, I have not seen any of the newest stuff. I don't even remember what season was the last season that I watched. But some of that stuff I don't even find funny anymore, like they try too hard. I never did watch a lot of uh, Robot Chicken though. I've seen some, but I never did watch a lot of that one. It was a mouse that they digitized, but the robot behaved like a mouse, behaving the same mouse instincts when approached, touched, threatened. That's insanity. It's crazy. Yeah, share that with me in Discord or something, because that sounds that sounds like something I want to uh, look up. Because I'm really interested in that kind of stuff, that sort of sci-fi near future. Is he going to... Can I, can I reach this? Okay, I can. I'm like, is he gonna lower his flashlight a little bit? Just go that way. We'll knock this guy out. Dot, dot, dot. Any pickpocketing? Nope. He's got nothing in his pockets. He's got no pockets to pick. Your sister's watching The Road to El Dorado? Is that the... Are you talking about the... The cartoon... The, the animated movie? There was an animated movie, El Dorado. I don't remember if it was called Road to El Dorado or not. I'm... I was... I was in... I, I really was in that movie when it came out. Alright. We good? Did I break all the things that I wanted to break? I, I am all about the breaking of all the things. I like how it wants you to like go under the table, but I'm like, nah, I'll just knock him out. Your grandma hates Family Guy in South Park. I don't know if my grandma knows those shows exist. I've never watched a lot of South Park either. I just never have.
Bentley's just now telling me about this sneak attack move, but like, obviously, obviously, Bentley, I, I've been around the bush once or twice. I've seen, I've, I know how the, the sneak attacking works. Works. I know how the sneak attacking works. All right. Did I successfully destroy and sabotage all the things? Excellent. Now. <laughs> oh god. Oh, I, I I thought I hit square, but I guess I, I did not. I guess. We well, set off the alarm momentarily, but it looks like that did not matter. Which I for one appreciate. These guys don't have good line of sight. Ooh, he's got a thing in his pocket. Give me the thing. Oh, he's gonna see, oh, that one's gonna see me. Don't see me. Don't see me. Stop. Don't see me. Don't see me. Oh, no, no, no. You don't see me. No. No, you don't know the way. No. I want what's in his pocket. He's got a gold thing in his pocket. Oh. Come on, there you go, got it. It's a it's a bronze comb. <laughs> it's, a, it's a bronze comb. Now we do battle. Uh oh. Oh god, there's a few of them now. Uh oh. Oh, I love how they bounce into each other. There we go. They try. They try to be really good at fighting. I've just got that bounce to the ounce, and they can't keep up. Jessica, you saw Chucky when you were seven? That sounds horrifying. I've, I've, to this day, I've still never seen Chucky. If you can think of a classic horror movie, I've probably not seen it. There's only a couple classic horror movies I've ever seen, and Chucky's not one of them, I'm afraid. Alright, we're gonna go into this. I'm gonna break the piano first. A really expensive piano. Five nine and nine. One short, co one coin short of uh, six hundred. Yeah, all the different characters in Family Guy have like undergone serious personality changes. Kyle Trailer, hello, welcome to the stream. I'm so glad you could make it. I should play a Family Guy video game or a SpongeBob SquarePants movie game on PS2. I don't have either of them, but if I acquire them, that's a possibility. That's definitely a possibility. Jackpot! The heart of Dimitri's operation. Head for those windows and take some reconnaissance photos. I've got to do our reconnaissance. Hit the R3 button, you know, click the right analog stick to bring up your binocucom. It's already outfitted. Ta da! Picture. Dimitri's using the clockwork tail feathers as printing plates. Given their rare alloy, they'll never wear out. A Judge Dread game? Do they have one? I don't, because I, I don't own one. But again, like, if I acquire it, maybe that's a possibility. That might be a possibility in the future. <laughs> Jessica, I hope Disney doesn't get you when you play the Lion King game. Oh, they will. They probably will. But it doesn't even matter anymore because, like, I'm not partnered, so whatever, big deal. 
I don't know if I mentioned it, I'm officially not a YouTube partner anymore because obviously the deadline passed and I don't have a thousand subscribers, so, you know, yada, 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 YouTube stuff. It's uh, not a big deal. When you, <laughs> Roblox Girl, when you first watched the movie, you got all the dirty jokes. Are you still talking about the uh, El Dorado movie? Because, yeah, if you watch that when you're older, it's definitely a little dirtier. It's not, like, dirty, but just a little bit. You pick up on the jokes. The modern thief is up against. Spotlights, stepped-up patrols, the sum of it all renders a direct assault impossible. To solve this puzzle, I'm going to need some more intelligence. First, replace this bugged painting with one Dimitri has in his office. Once in place... We should be able to listen in on his communications. Second, if you see the boss, tail him. We might learn something from studying his movements. Once we've got a proper understanding of the operation, those clockwork tail feathers are as good as ours. <laughs> what does that mean? Gummy bear. It means gummy bear. I love that response. That's a good response. All right, we got loads of cash now, so we'll buy the smoke bomb for sure. And we'll go ahead and buy the trigger bomb since we can. And we don't have enough for Fists of Flame, which is actually a really good move. But uh, we'll, we'll get it eventually. All right, we're going to set the gadget grid. We're going to make the smoke bomb into L1. So now when I hit L1, smoke bomb. Yeah. Which just allows us to escape from that combat and stuff when we don't want to do the combat. Okay. How many, uh... How do I see how many clues I still need? Is there a way to do that? Triangle? Square? Triangle? There's a button? There we go. Oh, that button. 22 out of 30. I need 8 more. Okay. I actually don't remember how to get, like, that yellow bar back, but I'm sure we'll get it back eventually somehow, probably by, by picking up like health or whatever. I managed to outfit this forged painting with a bug. I need you to sneak into Dimitri's office and swap it with the original. Nice. So we'll be able to listen in on his conversations. Yes, I thought things might go more smoothly with an ear on the inside. Just be careful with the fine art. Take any damage and the painting's ruined. No damage. Not a problem. I am a master of avoiding damage. Maybe I shouldn't go that way. <laughs> can I run with this? Yeah, I can run with it. Uh, I don't know why I climbed that. Apparently, this would have been quicker to just run up this way. And I need to go over there. Okay. Not gonna take damage. Can't take damage. Got a painting on my back. Can't take damage. Not a problem. Just gonna run on the rooftops. Avoid all the peoples. Whoops, a daisy. There we go. How do I? Dun 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 dun. Ta-da! We did it. You heading out, Sundry? Well, night. Eat, eat the gummy bears, child. Eat the gummy bears. The schematic indicates that door is locked from the inside. That's all right. I never was one for the direct approach. Swell, because the indirect approach is way up there through that air vent. All right, we still can't take damage because we have this painting on our back. Which is not a problem. 
we'll just uh we'll just go this way <laughs> Did I make that jump I might need to go over that way I don't think I can actually make that jump that, that that's a, that looks a little ambitious what do we have going on down here that guy's looking at me the other janitor is kind of like walking this way Probably. Just gonna a little. Just gonna take this guy out real quick, and then disappear into the shadows, like I was never here. Anything in this room? No. I think I can ninja spire jump the fountain, unfortunately, because the water is burnt. Oh, I didn't even see that guy walking up on me, creeping up on my shadow. I'm gonna take these guys out one at a time, like Assassin's Creed style. I could probably just run for it. Like I, I could, I could be a lot more reckless. I don't have to be this careful, but like, you know, am I about to get like ganged up on here in a sec? Slightly awkward. Da, 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 da. Yeah, there we go. Distraction. That's what I wanted. Where do I want to go from? Oh, over here, of course. Oh, that was that was kind of unnecessarily close. There we go. and hello welcome to the stream over on twitch so glad you could make it i've always wondered is he supposed to have kopesh or just like a crook uh just a crook just a crook it's a, a cane of sorts they because they, they they actually refer to it as a cane it's, it's sly cooper's cane why are the coins flying to the other side of the room that's weird oh here's the safe Okay, I don't have all the clothes, though. I don't have all the clothes. But I think I can come back to this uh, level if I want to. Alright, now if we can leave without getting hit, we'll make a bunch of cash. But yeah, with like the... Yeah, Jessica with the ba bags like half filled, it's because they're like going by weight. But yeah, it's kind of a major bummer when you buy a massive bag of something, like if it's gummy bears or chips or something, and then it's only half full, and you're like, oh, well, bummer. Sometimes, like, with chips or whatever, the air pocket's also meant to, like, help protect the chips in transport from uh, crushing themselves. So I get the reasoning, but still a bummer. See my shadow down there <laughs> just floating on nothing? Oh. Alright, so if we can get back to the hideout. Where's my hideout? Where's the old hideout? It's right over here. It's not very far. It's just a little jaunt this way. I'm gonna 
get what's in this guy's pocket real quick. Ah, darn it. Ah. Ah. It's a golden comb. Instead of a bronze comb. I think we have to actually sell it on the thief net. I think in three, they uh, do away with the whole having to sell them. It just gives you the cash value of them. Like, how do I sell? Really? There we go. The bronze comb is worth 11. Gold comb is 27, so they're not worth much. The gold painting from that level is 237. That's enough for the Fists of Flame! Which we haven't actually unlocked Murray yet, or Bentley, but eventually. Eventually, we will. Okay, okay. Where, where am I going now? Oh, over behind here. Behind me, over at this wee. Don't mind if I do a go this way. Where have we been on this boat? I need to start looking around for those eight missing clues. Coast is clear for what? That I'm uncertain. Ring the bell and follow him without being seen. Then maybe we'll find out what he's hiding. I always love just how stealthy they try to like they try to like push the sort of stealth factor like you're, you're sneaking around you're a thief they try to really push that that theme in this game it's definitely present in the original as well it's present but they really push it here even though you can do combat and like once you know how to do it it's not hard and you can cheese it they, tr they, they try to, like, make you be sneaky and stuff in, like, levels like this. I'm staying on the rooftops because eventually he's going to stop, like, in the middle of the road and just turn around and try to look at you. Like that. And he can't see us if we're on the roof. Because, uh, of course, if you've learned anything, it's when you're on a rooftop, you are invisible to the world. All right, Dimitri. All right, Dimitri. I'm over your head, Dimitri. Eventually, in these different like worlds, uh, there'll be enemies actually on the rooftops, which makes this slightly trickier. Not all the rooftops will always just be empty all the time. It's like, hello, I'm right here. You still can't see me. <laughs> yeah? Are, are you stuck? Okay. And then I think he wanders down here and he goes into this like door. Yep. Punches in a code or something. That's like supposed to be like he forgot what it was or something. He had no idea you were watching while he typed in that secret code. Hold on. Looks like that door leads to the nightclub's aqua pump. This might be useful for the heist. Roll scroll. Is there swearing in Eldorado? I don't even remember. It can't be that much, though. Sum San. I hope I said that right. To Sum to Sam. Uh, welcome to the stream. I'm so glad you could make it. They even made a they made a video game for Eldorado. Um, I think on the PlayStation One or Two. 
Um, I'm sure it was on a PlayStation system because I've played it before, and those are the, that's the system I had at the time. I can't remember. I can't remember how old it is though. So it's like on the one or two, and it's like a. It's kind of like a point and click, but it's on a console, so it's 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 something like that. It's kind of like an adventure game on console. I remember enjoying it, even though it's not like super. Like, it's not, it's not an action game. Although actually, it does get kind of tense. I think it had like mild platforming in like one level, which was like, it, it, it's not a platform game, so like it really shouldn't have done that, but it did once, I think. I don't own it. It's a game that we, uh, oops, I did not mean to do that. <laughs> it's a game that uh, my brother and I, when we were kids, we rented. We rented that game. So we don't own it, unfortunately. I'm gonna go sell whatever this was we just brought back. We brought back some loot. A jade vase. I don't say vase, it's a vase. <laughs> vase, like your face. Put a face on a vase. Where am I going now? Oh, we need. Oh, we actually need Murray now. Uh, but I don't think we can select Murray. I think we can just walk up to it, and this is us unlocking Murray. I think for the first time. I think so. Which is good because we can equip our thunder. No, not thunder flop. Uh, fire fist or whatever the heck it was called. I don't. Even, I'm hitting all the wrong buttons. I keep meaning to hit L3. Okay, here we go. No, we actually we actually have to be Murray now. Okay. I didn't think I could select him, but I must have been able- Ah, I got shot in the face. I don't have time for your shoots. I don't have time for your shoots and shoots. Oh, God. There we go. <laughs> if you can make it back to the safe house, it doesn't matter. Everything resets. Uh-oh. I like Murray's, uh... Murray's definitely the heavy guns. He just... Pow! Kachak! Let's actually set our fire fist. There we go. How do I get out of here? There we go. Fire fist, and that's like makes your next hit like a one shot. And it doesn't take up a whole lot of energy, so it's pretty good. Oh, there's a clue. How did I miss that clue? There we go. Seven more to go. And I'll remember, I remember where the safe is. It's in Dimitri's, like, place and I, I know how to get to it so we won't forget where it is ah. Ah. there's another one six more Ooh, how, ex how exciting I, th I feel like I've walked by there before but I guess not because then I would have definitely seen the those clues Check my ticker thing on notifications. What are you talking about? You talking about above my hat? Are you talking about these? They were from the other day. Oh, does he Roblox? I didn't realize they uh, they swore so much. It's been a long time since I've seen the movie. And good morning, suck the meme. Hello, welcome to the stream. I'm so glad you could make it. We are, of course, playing Sly 2. I don't know. How am I supposed to get past these lasers? You should be able to break that power box by throwing something at it. Press the circle button to use your stomp move near the ice machine to pick up a block of ice. Then press the square button to throw the block at the power box. Hit the circle button to pick stuff up and the square button to throw. Got it. Who? Oh. Oh yeah, the muscles. Okay. Blam! Oh, did that not? Did I do that wrong? Was I not close enough? Blam! Maybe one more. Third time's the charm. Blambo! There we go. Grab another eyes. Oh nope. Grab another eyes. There we go. I think they are actually like three shot. Yeah, it takes a few hits. Just gonna walk back and th forth and throw giant blocks of ice. Like, like, what is this machine? What is this machine? 
I mean, obviously it's an ice maker, but like, why is it even here? What is its purpose? Why? There we go. Easy peasy, squeeze my lemons. There we go. Blech. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> I'm a master of combat. There we go. I just like I just like breaking the things. Don't judge me. Things are here to be broken. There we are. So I need another. Do I need a break? Another. No, it's a red one. I just need to walk through it and not get hit. Not a problem. Although Murray is quite large. Okay, not a problem. His giant hulking frame. Alright, I'm gonna sneak behind this guy. Oh, or not. See, these guys take like three hits when you're sly, but when you're Murray, it's like a. It's just two. It's just a womp womp one two. And when they're when they're actually down, what, what Bentley wants me to do is do that, which is horrifying, by the way. Throwing these people into like that vortex is like <laughs> like this is horrifying. I don't know what exactly happens to them once they're in there, but it can't be good. Oh, there we go! Bloom, blam, kajoom! Roblox girl, I can call you Harley. I will try to remember that. Insert the little ticker in the corner. Mo will remember that. I'll, I'll try to. I've constructed a plan to get at the clockwork tail feathers, but we'll need to pull off a few more jobs to set things up for the heights. First, Sly will have to pick a few pockets in the theater so that we'll have access to the spotlight control center. Once that's accomplished, we'll be able to turn off all the security around the printing press. We'll need your muscle, Murray, to take out all the exterior alarm horns. We don't want anything to alert the guards while we pull off the big job. And finally, we'll need to get into the discotheque to drop this mirror ball. Trust me, it's all part of the plan. Are you getting a dog sometime soon, Jessica? That's exciting. I used to have a dog when I was a kid. No pets now, though. Okay, I got nothing to sell, nothing to buy, and do we need to be Murray next or Sly? We'll switch over to Sly for now. I'm not sure what we need. Uh, Murray's got a level, or a mission, I suppose. Sly also has a mission. Sly has two missions. Okay, so we'll do, we'll do one of the Sly Cooper ones next. No Bentley missions yet, but they'll come in due time, in all due time. Come here, you. I'm trying to get a good head start on my funds so that when we unlock some new some new gear, I'll be able to afford it right away. Oh, did I see a clue? I did see a clue. I think we need five more. Excellent. Oh, and there's another one. Ha ha! Oh, oh, how did I miss? I don't know how I missed those hits, but oh, look, another clue. All right. You guys want to go? And poof, I'm gone. I'm gone. He got a hit in. He got a lick in. I was careless. It's too careless. Ooh, another clue. I need two more clues. Oh, there's another one. Holy crap. I need one more clue. Oh, now I really want to find that last clue. There were a few around here, so I'm guessing I didn't explore this area very well. And the final clue is probably around here somewhere. 
It's probably around here somewhere. It might not be, but it, I'm thinking it might be. Is it down here? On the ground? Under down here? Actually, I think we've run by here before. This spe specific spot. We just did, we're on the rooftops. Okay. Keep my eyes peeled for that final clue. It helps too to listen carefully for it because you can hear it tinking around when you're close to it. But I have the sound so low for me that I probably won't hear it. So I have to keep my eyes open. Oh, you think you guys think you saw the clue? I'll go back to where we were fighting and see if I can see it. Cause I, I know where we were fighting. I'll go check it out. This is, of course, the level where they actually tell you how to do the pickpocketing. I just happen to already know how. Get rid of that hiding place. I don't need it. I don't need your hiding place. But I do need all these coins. Or at least I will need all these coins eventually. Okay. Let's go get this guy's next. Ta da! Fan control key! Hit square, and for some reason it didn't work. Oh god. Alright, no one noticed. We're okay. Is there anything else in this room we need to worry about? I don't think so. I think we just need to go through here, maybe? I don't think there's anyone. Oh, there is someone in here. I was about to say, I don't know if there's anyone in here. Oh, here they are. Did they just, did they just poof into existence just now? <laughs> did you guys see that? Maybe they were there the whole time, but it looked like they just kind of poofed into existence. I'm gonna wait for, for the guy on the left to wander over here. Here we go. Ah! Ah! There we go. Everything's okay. I didn't goof that up at all. No siree. Your sister has a crush on Tolio. Suck the meme, have I ever played a Ratchet and Clank game? Of course I have. I've, uh, the ones I've played, I haven't played all of them. The ones I've played are the original Ratchet and Clank, um, Ratchet and Clank, uh, Going Commando, Up Your Arsenal, uh, Deadlocked, and the one that came after Deadlocked, but I don't remember what it was called. I think it was just before they started actually calling themselves like Ratchet and Clank Future or whatever. I think it was before that. I don't remember what that, what that one was called though. I think it had something to do with time travel, but it might not have. I honestly don't remember. In my mind, the like first three are sort of the like official original trilogy. 
And then Deadlocked is kind of actually a, um, um, a spin-off game in a weird way, like, in terms of how, like, the, how the plot moves and the, how the, like, how it presents itself. It's kind of like a weird spin-off game. And then the games after that is kind of like a reboot on the series, kind of. Ratchet & Clank has a very strange and weird progression compared to a lot of games. Um, but I haven't played any of the newer ones. But I have played several. Oh, oh, and I did play, I did play the newest one that I know about anyway, the, um, the remake, the Ratchet & Clank remake that they did, um, when the movie came out. I did play that, I enjoyed it a lot. It's kind of simplistic compared to the, the original, but, like, it plays really well. It's got a lot of, uh, several of the original, um, original guns as well as a few new ones. It was just a lot of fun to play. On the easy side, but a lot of fun to play all the same. So I did play the, uh, reboot. And enjoyed myself with that. Which, if you haven't played the reboot, uh, will be available on the PlayStation Network in March. I think I, I think that's what I heard. I already have it, but where's the other guy? I've already been in this room. Where's the other guy at? Was there a path over here that I didn't see? I don't know where the other guard is. Hello? Hello? Where's the sixth guard? Oh, there's his flashlight. Oh, he's up there. Oh, okay. How do I get up there? <laughs> I don't know what he's guarding up there. It's kind of a useless place to be, but sure. Look at him. What, what, what are you doing? Oh, he's napping. Oh, now it all makes sense. He's slacking. He's not guarding. He's watching TV. He's just watching static on TV. Same though. So much same. All right. How do I get up there? Is it up this way? I think so. I think so. Yes. 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 Jelly j Jelly Jar Jesus, hello, welcome to the stream. I'm so glad you could make it. New to the stream, tuned in, because Sly was my childhood. Yes, Sly was so good. Welcome, welcome. Of course, this is, as you know, the second one. We actually streamed the first... My robe keeps getting caught on that armrest. We, of course, streamed the first one a while back. It's been a while since we streamed the first one. Uh, we will stream the third one eventually. I don't, I don't think I will immediately after this. Uh, but eventually, very soon. And then, of course, I do also want to do Thieves in Time, because I also own that on the PS3. I own all the Slies! I own all the Slies, as well as Battle Royale, if you count that, because he's in it. The only one I don't have is that PlayStation Heroes game, that w weird, dumb game that came out with the PlayStation Move or whatever. Don't own that one. That's got Sly in it as well. Uh, what am I doing? I think I can just leave now, right? What am I doing? I was not paying... Oh, I gotta do the fans, that's right. I was not paying any attention. I was excited for a new face. Okay, there there we go. Gotta get up this thing. I forgot what I was doing there for a second. I'm overriding the spotlight security gun. So when we play the first one and size matters in the secret agent clank. Does size matter when I play it? I don't think so. I never played Secret Agent Clank. <laughs> Fur baby for the little for the little dog. Jelly jelly jars, Sly and Spyro were your childhood? Dude, same. Dude, on the PlayStation 1 it was Spyro and Crash. On the PlayStation 2 it was Sly Cooper and Ratchet and Clank and of course Jack and Daxter. And then basically that 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 was that was childhood. That was it. Jack and Daxter is one we have to do as well. Maybe we'll do that soon too. <coughs> Excuse me. We actually did play. Did we play all the Spyros? Yeah, we played all the Spyros. I couldn't remember if we finished Spyro th uh, Spyro three or not. We did. We actually did play by all the Spyros. I mean the real ones. 
uh, <laughs> Spyro the Dragon, Spyro Ripto's Rage, and Spyro Year of the Dragon, we did stream. Obviously, I don't count the ones that are not in the original trilogy. Alright, so you guys thought maybe you saw another clue down here where we were fighting earlier? I'm just gonna break these suitcases because I can. And it might even be down here. Pickpocket this guy just real quick. Golden comb! They carry better loot in like different worlds. They all kind of have a signature loot that all the guards carry in each world. Apparently this world is all about them combs. Cause uh because Dimitri's kind of like a wannabe greaser, kind of. Or something. Greaser might not be quite right, but he's he's a wannabe something, all right. If you guys saw a clue over here, I'm not sure quite where it was. So, I mean, yeah, I saw you post that actually on Discord. I just didn't get around to saying that you saw you, you could play PS1 games on your PSP. Roblox, uh, or, uh, Harley, I will try to remember your name. Play Five Nights at Candy's. I, I don't know that I want to do that. I've played Five Nights at Freddy's, the original. Um, I, I actually did a series on that on YouTube. I don't know if the videos are public still or not. I don't think I privated them for any reason, but, um, I did Nights 1 through 4. I never actually beat 5 because I ended up getting a new computer and losing all my save data and just decided not to continue that series. <laughs> but, uh... That's the only one I've played. I don't see another clue over here unless it was on the rooftop. We are just missing one, which is enticing. I do want to find that last clue if we can. It's around somewhere. Oh, sorry. Oh, ah, I was not paying attention. How dare you? How dare you, sir? I will smoke bomb. Do we explore this lobby area very well? We did a little bit of fighting over here, but I think we got all the clues that was on this thing. I think we got them all. Oh, someone saw me. Someone saw me. Smoke bomb. We'll switch over to Murray. We'll do Murray's level next. I know there's another Sly one, but we'll do another Murray one. So maybe you think you saw the gun of that guy and not the clue? Maybe. Jesse, you're gonna be taking lots of pictures. Of course you will. That's the only solution. I don't play a lot of horror games. I know there's several out there that people enjoy. I think, oh, I, I almost completely forgot. I think it was Suck the Meme. I think it was you. Somebody, somebody suggested, maybe it was Orr, I can't remember who it was, suggested I play Outlast, and I happen to, I just own, I happen to own Outlast, um, but I've never touched the thing. I honestly don't even know why I own it or how I ended up with it, but I have it. <laughs> um, don't know if I want to do that, but I know that was something somebody suggested I do. That's like the thing with horror games. There's never going to be a time where I'm going to want to play it. So like, <laughs> it's going to be for YouTube or never. Or stream, I mean. It wasn't you, Suck the Meme? Maybe it was Orr. I can't remember who suggested it. Alright. Gotta break the things. Gotta break the things. No, you can't be in the way of me breaking the things. 
In fact, I will break the things with you if you stay in my Wii. There we go. One thing's down. Two more things to go. Get that coin. You want some of this? Kapow! Kapow! Oh, I think they're all by the coast, though, right? Like... Oh, there's one over there and one over there. Okay, we'll just we'll run this way. And pow. <laughs> just sucker punch in the back. Don't even finish him off. Just keep running. I love Murray's little tail just flopping back and forth. Alright, need to get some things. This looks like a thing. Newspapers! We will bust the metal contraption with newspapers! I'm gonna throw the newspaper so hard. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, nice save, Murray. Nice save on the boat. Could move. Ah! Holy crap, not again. Not again. Blam. Oh, it didn't quite reach. Eh. There, there we go. But yeah, that big guy that showed up with the flashlight and the gun, those guys are definitely um, what you use your uh, fire fist on, because then it's just a, a single one hit. You just like burn up. I'm keeping an eye on while we're running for any sign of a clue. Oop, I missed. I missed twice, even. Right, one more. I need one more thing. Oh, there's a newspaper. Let's use that. I'm surprised no enemies are showing up. Usually, like, they just show up and start immediately heckling me, but this will do. Ta-da! Easy peasy. Lemon squeeze me. Uh, I didn't miss a clue over in this area, did I? I thought we got all of them from in here. Ah, he shot me. Pow. Oh, you shut me. But I've got health, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I don't see any other clues over here. I thought we cleared this place out pretty good. There is a piece of art over here. We can take back to the safe, the, back to the safe house, though. I think we'll go ahead and do that because we have to go back to the safe house anyway to switch to Sly for his final mission. Well, I say fine. It's not the final mission, but the next one, the next one, the final one in this like set of three. They kind of like release missions in waves because it's kind of like. Each wave, you're progressing further to doing whatever the thing is. Did I hear something? No? No, okay, we're all right. There we go. We'll go ahead and sell that to the thief net. I don't think we've unlocked anything yet. No, no gadgets yet. And slide. Harley, you watched Chucky when you were five? Jeez. Still never watched it. I don't really plan on watching it either. I have no strong desires to see Chucky. Unless, like, I somehow happen to stumble upon the movie and I'm like, all right, well, whatever. I guess we're watching this then. All right, where am I going? I'm going to that way. You can use your binoculum to like find it, but it's easier just to hit L3. Ta-da! Hold it, Cooper. Constable Mila, another policewoman hot on my tail. Please, I led you here. So that claw gang slip was a clue. Why are you helping me out? 
I'm not as black and white as Carmelita. I know what a menace those clockwork parts are, and I don't want the likes of the Claw Gang putting them to use. So what? It takes a thief to catch a thief? Something like that. But if I'm going to trust you in this case, I need to know that you can keep up. Literally. Literally? Don't fall behind. Sly, hold down the R1 button to run. You'll need it to keep up with Constable Neal. It's like, I'm, I, I'm doing a pretty good job of keeping up. I'm, 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 I'm doing pretty good. I'm in front of you. I'm literally in front of you. I'm literally... Leela? You okay? You okay? <laughs> you okay, Leela? You, uh, you trying to get some, <laughs> you trying to get somewhere? You, <laughs> you in a hurry? <laughs> Alright, I'll get out of the way. <laughs> I'll get out of the way. Oh, that was too good. Oh, that was too good. Oops, that's not what I meant to cling on to. Crap, she's gonna get away now. I clicked circle and it went to the wrong thing. Alright, well that was highly unnecessary to whip that, but sure. Ah, whip it. Whip it good. Whip it. Alright. Do I need to actually pickpocket you? I don't think, no, definitely not. I'm, I'm just actually supposed to chase her around. I, I, th I think I've proven my abilities, Constable. I think I've proven my running at you abilities. I think you've proven your whipping random objects for literally no reason abilities. Like, I'm not judging because I, too, like to indulge in the breaking of all the things. I, I too, am one of those people. So I'm not judging you. I'm, ju I'm just saying... <laughs> where <laughs> I'm just saying this is all a, an exercise in futility. I'm watching you. I'm watching you. All right. There we go. Well done, Sly. We should work well together. Glad you approve. Now, legally, I can't enter Dimitri's nightclub without a warrant. But I happen to have obtained a key to his back door, which a person like yourself can use however he pleases. Oh, we are absolutely <laughs> going to work well together. That job inside the disco will require my... And now that we got all the way here, we actually need Bentley, not Sly. <laughs> Oh god, there are four hits. I thought they were three hits. I stood there like a silly ninny ninkan poop. Alright. So that's the back door to his club. I, I oh god, we need to find this final clue. We need to we need to go on a on a search for this final clue. It's out there somewhere. I, I believe it. You gotta believe it's out there. I'm trying to listen in to see if I can hear it. Cause that's where we need to take all the clues, is into that window. Oh, that's what I was hearing. I kept wa walking over the lights and hearing a clink. I thought it was a clue. And I'm like, why do I hear it? Okay. That's what I was hearing. Not actually the clue though. Not actually the clue of which it is we are seeking. But where is thy clue? Where is it? Do you know? Do you know Sir Boar Man? I guess he's a boar. I, I really don't know what he is. It's kind of the grassy area. I'm not hearing it right now, am I? Hmm. 
No, I guess not. It's not this sort of dining area. It's like, I mean, what do clues give me? I honestly don't remember. I'm pretty sure it's like an ability of some kind. I'm pretty sure it's just like a new thing you can do. Kind of like in the other games. Um, except that in this game they introduced thief net, so like a lot of what you can get is you just purchase with the coins. I was gonna look around just a little bit to see if I'd spot it, but if I don't spot it here pretty quick, I'll, I'll just start the Bentley mission. I hate to spend too much time looking for it because I know it's not like super interesting to just watch someone like look for clues, but I always have a hard time when I when there's just one left finding it. <laughs> We've circled around a couple of times. I like I keep coming back to familiar places. Did I play Medieval? I've not played Medieval. I think I, I think I might, I might own it though now. Sumsan, uh, Dimitri learned English from watching hip hop videos and it shows, this is true. This is definitely uh, true. Juices too. hello, welcome to the stream. I'm so glad you could make it. I, 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 I enjoy your colorful, colorful rainbow emotes there. All right, I think we're. I think we'll switch over to Bentley and do a Bentley mission. I'm not seeing the final clue. I want to find that. I want to find that final clue. I want to find it. I want it. I want it so bad. Bentley, 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 Bentley. I love Bentley. He's just. He's just little and awkward, and he's a turtle with a crossbow. He's. He's. He's, he's the coolest. He's the best. And then he his uh, crossbow he actually shoots like sleeping dirt uh, sleep, sleeping darts and drops bombs. He can't pickpocket though. I don't think he can pickpocket at all. I know he can in the third one. He unlocks he's he's got an ability. Um, I don't know if he gets an ability in the second one to actually pickpockets or not. I don't honestly remember. You can pickpocket with Murray, but it's a little different. You actually have to knock down the enemies, and when you're holding them, instead of throwing them, you can actually shake them down. I should have done that while I was Murray, just to show you. You can shake people down for money, instead of like actually pickpocketing. I don't think Bentley can do anything in the second game. Okay, Bentley. To get past the laser fence, you'll need to blow it up. Press the triangle button to drop a bomb, and then get out of the way before it explodes. Uh oh, I missed. Apparently I missed. There we go. And his bombs are powerful. They'll do the job. Hey Bentley, how you holding up out there in the field? Fine. Fine, I'm just fine. I just need to bob all the pillars supporting that disco ball and I can get out of here. What's with taking out the disco ball? Its impact will shake the nightclub's front peacock sign loose from its morning. Look, I can't talk now. I've got to keep moving. Keep safe. Bentley's all twitchy. He's never been out in the field before. He's terrified. He doesn't have the confidence in him. He doesn't believe he can do it. And none of the guards notice. None of the guards notice the explosion and falling apart pillars. Nope, nothing to see here, folks. Ah. Maybe I can sneak by here. There we go. Mm -hmm. 
Uh oh, oh, I guess that didn't do the job. Maybe it's just, maybe it's a one hit explosion if he's actually asleep. Might be. Cause I'm pretty sure if you put him to s sleep and bomb him, you, you beat him in one hit. Maybe, maybe you have to put him to sleep first. There you go. I think this will do it. Yeah, that's what it is. You have to put them to sleep first. If you bomb them without putting them to sleep, I think they survive once or twice. That's what it is. Oh, he stopped. He stopped right in front of my, right in front of my sleeping dart. And they don't stay asleep forever. I don't know how long they stay asleep for, though. For a little bit. Alright, where's the last one? Oh, it's over there. Okay, you got it. I like how it's got like pipes and stuff that it looks like Sly could climb, but like Sly's just not here right now, so he can't. Cause Bentley can't do all that stuff. Bentley and Murray can't do all the like climbing on pipes and stuff like Sly can. Wow, Bentley, we felt that all the way back here at the safe house, and you were right. The peacock sign had half of its bolts pop off on impact. Job completed. All right, what's the plan, Bentley? Okay, fellas, the dominoes are all in place. Time Thunder to pull beak. off the big heist. First, Murray will help me break into the old water tower. From there, I should be able to shut down the plaza fountain. Dimitri's sure to send someone out to get the repair truck. Sly, you'll pickpocket the truck keys off this guy once he shows up. Then hand them off to me and Murray in the plaza. We'll go steal the truck while you climb to the top of the nightclub's peacock sign. When you're in position, Murray will fire the truck's winch line up to you and will use it to pull down the sign. If my calculations are correct, the impact should create an entrance to the printing press room. Then, Sly, you jump in, grab the clockwork tail feathers, and we all get the heck out of here. I eat. Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan, Bentley. Sounds like a good one. You'd never lead us astray. You'd never do us wrong. All right, we'll start as Sly, I suppose. Cause we we should all each have a mission. I th oh no wait no I guess we're just starting with Bentley. Okay, I'll, I'll switch back to Bentley. Maybe he even told me that. Maybe I wasn't paying attention. Belly. Well, this is a predicament. Blah. This is Operation Thunderbeak, though. I'm not sure if once I start this, if I'll... I wish I had found that clue. Come on, chum. Let's get to that water tower. Ah, I was trying to sneak up and drop a bomb. <laughs> Maybe they, I think they noticed Murray. There you go. Murray can do all the fighting. Jump into my arms. I'll toss you up there. You ups a daisy. What? That, did that not work? Is that not what I'm doing? Oh, I think I'm just trying to get. Am I trying to get to the top? Oh, there we go. I guess I just didn't quite latch on. There we go. There we go. Oof. 
kind of almost bounced out. Well, this looks like a complicated mess. Do I turn to divert water pressure from the plaza? To change the flow of water through a valve, I should press the circle button. They try to make it look complicated, but I'm pretty sure you just have to push, push them all at once. That's pretty much... There's one more over here I haven't done. I haven't done this one yet. There you go. It's off all right. They're already sending out the repair guy to fix it up. Take Locke and the keys to his repair truck without being seen. All right. Gonna go take these weasels out one at a time. Or none at a time. They're going to walk the other Wii. Ah. There it is. Repair truck key. Okay, head back to the fountain to make the exchange. Now oh, here we are. It's all you. Let's head out for the repair truck. Head out to the repair truck. Where's the repair truck? There it is. I'm like, I don't know where the repair truck's actually located. I was not given the information necessary to know where the repair truck is. But it's right there. Got it. It's got a grappling hook on it. I think we're going to use a grappling hook. Get in position on top of the nightclub's peacock sign for phase three. In the meantime, Sly was actually doing this the whole time. I don't know what he was doing. Where are we going? Where am I? Oh yeah, I gotta get to the top. Okay. Uh, which is bouncy bounce up to bounce bounce town. Over bounce bounce over to bounce bounce. Bounce on down. <laughs> We've already been up here once. Not a big deal. Not a big, ain't no big thing. Ain't no thing. We just phased through one of those suitcases. Alright, gotta aim. Gotta aim it. Oh. Oh, this, this, this looks about right, right? Sure. Oh, nope. Too low. How about this? Oh, spot on, almost. A little higher. A little higher. A little higher. Jump, jump, a little higher. This? There we go. Hooks on. Pull away. Sly, the guards are on to us. Protect the truck. I'm protecting the truck. Truck protection initiated. <laughs> truck protection uh, protocols engaged. Robo Sly. <laughs> Activate the Gundam Sly. Sly Gundam Alpha. Nope. Truck is gonna go taking no damage. No damage from y'all. Ain't gonna happen. Oh, I took a little bit of damage though. Ah, the truck took a little damage. I said it wasn't gonna happen. Then I let it happen. There you go. At least you're just sending the little guys and not like the big... Uh, flashlight guards at me. Ah, I tried to swing before he'd hit me, and I, I just did not do that. There you go. And we're in. Behold the majesty of gravity and inertia. That was real subtle, baby. <laughs> okay, you jump in, grab the clockwork tail feathers, and we're out of here. Yeah, we didn't get that last clue before the end of the world. I can always come back, I guess, and look for it. Maybe in my own time. Like, between streams. 
Because I know it's not the most exciting thing in the world to watch me just look for one clue. Raccoonus do this. Why can't you let birds and bees be free, bro? Listen, Dimitri. You have no idea what you're playing with. It'll bring more than your house down. Look, bro. I see you are a tough cowboy. A man with taste, style, vision, a connoisseur of finer things. Like me. Look, I'm sure the two cats in a bag like us can work something out. Yeah? We smooth. Yeah? Look, see the money. You like the money. You can take all you want. I can. No deal. You and the rest of the claw gang have to be stopped. Clockwork will never again see the light of day. Just hand over the tail feathers and we can. What is this with clocks, bro? <laughs> have you no vision? Are you hearing what I mean to you? You think you have juice? Don't show me a little mind when talking about such big things. You think you can swing the bat? Show your bling and let me shine you. <laughs> to this day, though, to this day, I actually do reference that. I like if somebody has the juice. To this day, I I actually still reference that. Not a lot. It doesn't come up a lot, but I I do. If someone's like tough stuff, I'll say they have the juice. God, I got I got hit immediately. Oh God, darn it! He is a crack shot. What am I supposed to be doing exactly? I guess when he like charges up, I need to like, ah, there we go. I just need to smack him when he's charging up. What are you doing, Dimitri? Creeping around, creeping on my shadow. You wanna go, bro? Is that what you wanna do? Is that what you wanna do right now? Yeah, yeah, How do you, what do you think about that, huh, yeah? Your tail ain't got nothing on this. My tail's got stripes. What's your tail got? Nothing. I'm just a lizard man. <laughs> yeah, you wanna go? You wanna go, bro? Yeah, that ain't no GoPro. Ah! I thought that was the one that was gonna, like, fail. I, God darn it. I'm doing a horrible job, by the way. I'm kinda getting... Getting used to the whole, like, this is how bosses work. <laughs> Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? There he is. Ah! Don't hit me. I mean, this is just a straight up brawl. <laughs> it's so good. Oh. Compared to, like, the original Sly Cooper, when this was, like, the first boss fight of this game, and, like, being completely not what I was expecting. This was super, like, super bizarre. Ah. Oh, god darn it. He, I should have hid behind that pillar. I, I didn't know he was going to fix it quite so quick. We'll do better the second time around. I just wasn't sure what I was doing. I took too much damage. All right, we got this. It looks like he takes three shots before it breaks. Oh, God darn it. Yeah. What do you think of that? I know how it works now. I know how you'll work. Oh, God darn it. I, should, I try to jump, like, over him like an idiot. I mean, when he does, like, the tail spin like that, that's totally okay. But then he's got that, like, uppercut, and then you definitely do not want to be jumping over him. Ah! Oh, that was close. That was very close. I'll oh, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Ah! ah. What are you doing? What are you doing? Ah. Yes. All right, one more go around, I think. One more, one more with the shots. One more with the shot, 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 shots. Get there, get there, get there, get there. Ah. Oh, 
Oh, almost. And this is gonna be it. Oh god. Oh god, there it is. So you remember Crazy Taxi? I do remember Crazy Taxi. Crazy Taxi was crazy. It was a crazy taxi. And my counterfeit in operation. It's past tense. I'm doing you a favor. What kind of thief prints money? There's no honor in that. You cracker box. I love the way Dimitri talks. It's so good. I want to like when I'm an 80 year old man in like a home somewhere at some point in my life. That's how I want to talk to people. Like just the way Dimitri does. Yeah, cracker boxes. The clockwork tail feathers were ours, and Dimitri's counterfeiting operation was ruined. Due to the untimely arrival of Carmelita, my escape got a little tricky. Angry at having just missed me, she took it out on Dimitri. Shutting down the nightclub and throwing the frustrated forger behind bars. The gang and I headed out of town for a week in Monaco. Bentley wanted to try out his new card counting formula, and I figured the team had earned themselves a well-deserved break. All right, well, I think that's gonna, it's, it's officially 1 a.m. CST, so I think I'm gonna stop the stream there. I will be continuing in episode two tomorrow night at 11. PM CST as well. So let me you downloaded this crazy ta taxi. Bring back the memories, man. Anyway, like I said, that's gonna do it for this episode. I want to thank all of you for joining me on this stream. I know I was a little lower energy, and I know I was a little chiller. It was been a long day. I was good just to hang out and just kind of play games for a little bit. But once again, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next uh, Magic Man stream. Until next time, bye.